Hey Pisces, it's your girl D with Hidden Truth Tarot here to bring you your love reading from May 15th through May 31st, 2019. And uh, I hope all is well with you, my Piscean friends. I hope um, you are enjoying yourself during this Jupiter retrograde. Uh, I hope you're doing some uh, reflecting inward. Maybe some of you are traveling, uh, just relaxing and enjoying and reflecting back on, on the year you had. Uh, perhaps some of you are just chilling out at home locally. Um, some of you might be overseas on the beach, you know, hanging out, reflecting, doing some research, doing some studies. I know how you guys do. Or you could just be having a, a you know, a really great time. But uh, hopefully you are enjoying yourselves. And um, let's see what we got here for you for your uh, reading for May 15th through May 31st. Oh, let me tell you, I'm new here to YouTube. This is my first Pisces video. So please let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. Uh, I'm going to be using the Golden Thread Tarot uh, for today's reading. All right, so let's see what we got here, Pisces. All right, Pisces. Now, I had uh, was meditating on your energy earlier and pulled some cards, and it looks like some of the same cards are coming up. Um, I got the Magician for the overall energy here. So just going to show you that just in case you can't see it way back there where it is. I love these cards. They got the gold thread thrown, which is why they're called the golden thread tarot. All right, but this is the magician. All right, so energy for today's reading is the magician. So you're able to make anything happen that you want to happen. So you guys may be out here trying to uh, get, uh, get maybe a, a new love interest or maybe take someone back. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what the cards say. So it looks like there's nothing new going on. Um, a partner that you were recently involved with, that ended. Um, it looks like either they were coming in as somebody who maybe was uh, playing games, pretending that there was love there and wasn't, or maybe this was you, Pisces. But it looks like there was no love. Here's the Ace of Cups in reverse with the uh, King of Cups reverse. So it looks like there was no new beginning in love here. There was just manipulation going on here. Um, that's for some of you. Uh, and so it looks like uh, because of that, some of you decided to walk away. This is the Six of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, Six of Cups, period. Not in reverse, Six of Cups upright. So some of you might have walked away because of that. You know, either because somebody was, oops, let me fix that back. You might have walked away because somebody was either playing games and you walked away or you, your partner walked away because you were playing love games or they just thought there was, or you or your partner thought there was going to be some love here and you realized it wasn't. All right. And then you decided to leave it alone. Yeah. So it looks like um, a decision was made to do so with the justice card here. So the decision probably was just to walk away, leave it be. And we got the uh, page of pentacles in reverse here. So yeah, no new beginning, nothing new here. So it could have just been a one night stand. I'm not sure, not really knowing what's going on with that. But unfortunately that particular reading or that uh, for some of those some people that are resonant with. All right, let's do another spread. It's May 15th and May 31st. Please tell me what you want me to let Pisces know about their love life. May 15th and May 31st. What should I be informing Pisces of? What is their love life? May 13th and May 31st. Okay, again, the magician is overall energy here. All right. So, yeah, I got, uh, looks like there was some spilt milk going on here. There was a five of cups, but it's in reverse. Okay, so somebody might have been crying over that split up. Um, 
looks like they're no longer doing so but i do show that somebody thought that this was wish fulfillment at one point either you or your partner um the, yeah there was a tower moment that occurred when you found out what was going on so that's when you or your partner found out what was going on and then you and your partner probably decided okay done cut it off but also could have been multiple partners here which is why things didn't work out we got the uh queen of pentacles in reverse and we got the queen of swords here okay so it could have been more than one person involved we got the seven of wands uh which is passionate energy here somebody could have been waiting for you know some situation to uh you know a positive could have been waiting for something to come out of it all right and it looks like maybe nothing did and we do have the page of pentacles here as well that there might have been something new starting maybe you got something new starting now and then i have the two of pentacles in reverse so it looks like there might have been some juggling going on between these queens queen of swords and queen of pentacles uh queen of pentacles because neither one of these is your energy queen of swords is uh uh aries i'm sorry uh gemini libra aquarius and then we have queen of pentacles which is taurus virgo capricorn so you could have been dealing with either one of those but here they are the queens and in between them here we have the juggling card in reverse so it looks like it was in the past of course because we have the tower card in the past so this was brought to fruition so we already know that this occurred whoops sorry about that okay and then we have the knight of swords so maybe the um information came in that this was gonna just be you know something other than <laughs> what was going to go on but some information could have come in some brash information but it may not have been all the way truthful because here's the ace of uh swords in reverse so here's more cancer i'm sorry um more uh gemini libra aquarius energy more air energy here so you definitely could have been dealing with a gemini libra aquarius um i do have pentacles here so i have capricorn taurus and virgo um yeah all right so let's see yeah we have the uh, six of cups in reverse so this was someone that you've known from the past um who this was with and it definitely was a third party situation here because we got the two queens we got the uh, former juggling card here the two of pentacles in reverse so yeah there was definitely some third party stuff going on one of them was somebody from your past but i guess you're trying to um, manifest new love now perhaps but you were stressed about this you or your partner because we got the swords uh nine of swords in reverse here so somebody pulled the wool somebody had to pull the wool off their eyes <clears throat> to see what was going on here we got the king of wands in reverse all right the king of wands energy is uh somebody who um is kind of manipulative um you know not somebody you want to be around he usually is very charismatic very you know very fun to be around the life of the party you know um, wands is uh aries leo sag energy uh, but this could have been a person who was just all about them uh, wanting what they wanted and didn't worry about what anybody else wanted so this could very well be what was going on here and we do have let's see here where we go yeah so we got a king of wands here with the queen of pentacles and a queen of swords all right so yeah this is definitely showing third party energy here page of wands in reverse no new beginning here with this uh so it looks like you're trying to manifest something new because this situation that you were in either you did the uh did the cheating or your partner was cheating on you but it looks as though whatever that was it's over for you you're not interested in that anymore you're ready to move on to manifest something new so let's see what we got here for you let's see what you are trying to manifest here are you just trying to have some fun or are you actually looking for love and if you're trying to have fun hopefully you're being honest with folks and letting them know where you're coming from so that people are not you know being made to feel as if they were betrayed you know you don't want that type of uh, karma on you right now with saturn in retrograde and pluto in retrograde because they're going to be bringing up past relationships so you may get you know just like with the last spread yeah that was with someone from your past we'll see what's coming on for you now 
coming up for you now, what you're trying to manifest here. All right. More sword energy. So, yeah, nine of swords in reverse. All right. So, and then we have the ten of swords. So, um, this, yeah, and then we have the two of swords in reverse. So, at some point, somebody was um, trying to make a decision about something. So, you, this is probably you. You probably decided to walk away from this or you or your partner. And I got the queen of pentacles showing up again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay. And then we also have the knight of pentacles. So, whoever, if this is... You taking on the Queen of Pentacles energy, you just working on making your money, um, you know, taking care of your family, taking care of uh, everything that needs to be taken care of. But you got this uh, Pentacle, this Knight of Pentacles coming in slow, taking his time with the commitment, taking his time, bringing in the money. Then, you know, this is an uneven match here. So I could see why you may have wanted to uh, drop this. All right. Yeah, because somebody is not being... Somebody is being, uh, somebody's giving or wants to give, all right, but maybe they're just taking their time with it, and you ain't got time to wait, you got things to do, or, yeah, because there's no messages coming in, no messages are coming in about what, what's going on, so either you, you guys are not communicating, not communicating at all, yeah, we got the three of cups here, so let's clarify that, what's, what's going on with the three of cups? balance okay yeah so it looks like this was a third party situation so we got the temp the temperance card here okay the temperance card here with the uh uh three of cups so maybe this is saying be patient something good is coming celebration is coming let's look at this positively here all right and then we got the six of cups again six of pentacles again more balance so you definitely are focused on getting some balance. So that's what you're trying to manifest. And you're trying to manifest a brand new beginning, some money here. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, this is more Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. So maybe you're trying to manifest something with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay. And we got the Queen of Swords here. So again, the Queen of the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So either you're embodying this energy or there is definitely somebody else in the building. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of pinnacle energy here. A lot of pinnacle energy, a lot of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We got some sword energy here too. We got uh, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But a lot of pinnacle energy here. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got the Ten of Cups here. Okay, so this is what you're trying to manifest. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Pisces. I do not blame you at all. You want something real, something of substance. You know, you got the Five of Wands here. You don't want all this drama. Who wants drama? Nobody wants to deal with all of that. You want to put that to the side. Nobody wants none of that. All right. And then I got the seven of wands here because it looks like you were waiting for, you know, something to, to come of the last relationship you were in. But it was just nothing but a bunch of garbage, uh, you know, multiple people. So you decided to just focus on work. All right. So you're working on you. You're working on, on, on your career. You're working on any type of aspiration that you have. You're changing your focus. And trying to manifest through that. And then we have the King of Wands. Alright, so that's an Aries Leo Sag energy. Um, so for the ladies, maybe you got a King of Wands coming your way. Somebody who's very charismatic. Somebody who's creative. Somebody who is uh, a great conversationalist. Uh, spontaneous. Oh, and we got a Knight of Wands coming too. So, hmm. Yeah. You got some, uh, I think you got somebody coming to you, a Gemini, Libra, I'm sorry, an Aries, Leo, Sag coming your way. More page energy, page of pentacles. So it looks like you are really just focusing on your coin right now. I think you're trying to manifest your coin. You're not really looking for love at this point, I'm not showing. Because I don't get a lot of love in these cards. I haven't gotten a lot of love in these cards. 
I'm showing you're focusing on these is a lot of pentacle energy here. I'm showing you're focused on your ones, on your money. And you may have somebody coming at you trying to entertain you to have a little fun. But I don't show that this is going to be anything serious. You know, you're still trying to get over uh, your past relationship here. You're still struggling with this. So you're not looking for anything serious right now. Not looking for anything serious at all. So yeah, we got the Queen of Wands energy here as well. Okay, so we got the King and Queen of Wands. So perhaps... Oops, I dropped the card. Bear with me. I dropped the King of Wands card. So perhaps this is who was causing you some problems. So maybe you had a Aries Leo Sag that you were dealing with. And he didn't do you right. Didn't do you right at all. Alright, so that gives me some insight here. Yeah, because he wasn't coming with love. It was just a game. Yeah, the chariot. Yeah, this ain't going nowhere. You're not playing around. This is not this is not going nowhere at all. But you gotta bring it to a close. You still mourning. That's what it is. You still hurt. You still frustrated. You're still upset about this. You got the star card in reverse. And you're upside down. Because you you're exhibiting the uh, wand energy. So yeah, this is not something that you want to continue with, but you're still mourning and you're trying to manifest something better, but you're focusing on your money here, it looks like, trying to get your money right. Let's see what else we got for you. But if this is not you who's hurting, then it's the person that you're dealing with or we're dealing with. They're focusing on their money. Let's see what you're trying to manifest. Are you trying to manifest money and love because right now we know you're working on those coins showing that you are exercising control you're getting yourself back into the swing of things you're not trying to do anything new you've decided to just uh, leave things be especially if this person tries to come back no new beginnings you're definitely in control of your emotions when it comes to this situation so you're not tripping about it anymore you were in the past you know probably had a little something nasty to say about him him or her you know, or she, uh, he, him or her had something nasty to say about you. But, um, yeah, you're, you're recuperating from this. You're not stressing about this anymore at all. You you got your eight of pinnacles, so you're working. Like I said, you focused on money. You're not worried about anything in particular right now. But you are open to a brand new passionate beginning. Because you got the ace of, ace of uh, wands here. So you're definitely open to a brand new passionate beginning. It looks like you may want to go back. Do you want to go back? Does your partner want to come back? Is that what you're manifesting? I got the judgment card in reverse, so it looks like um, if whoever is trying to come back may not be uh, may not be so welcome. Yeah, the hierophant in reverse, the high priestess in reverse. This is your energy, Pisces energy. Don't know if somebody's pregnant. But somebody's not using their intuition. We got the two of pentacles here. More juggling. What's juggling? Let's see what we're juggling here. Yeah, it looks like, okay. So in this uh, particular spread, you are coming, you're bringing things to a close. So yeah. Either you are resting and you decide that you do want to go back. For some of you, you want to go back. For some of you, you're ready to bring this to a close. Some of you, you're still recuperating and still resting. Trying to, you know, get yourself together to decide what it is that you want to do. Um, some of you are just not, you know, doing anything with this. You're not going to do anything with this. This is the judgment card in reverse. You're not going to do anything with this. You're going to leave this be. 
Uh, some of you are just because you're so out of it. You're not using your intuition. You want to go back. Here's, here's the uh, high priestess card in reverse. You want to go back. Because you're not using your intuition. you thinking that something more it could come of this. When they're not choosing you. Judgment card in reverse. They're not choosing you. So are you trying to manifest this relationship back? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that what's going on, Pisces? Because you got the eight of so you got the eight of swords. Yeah, you you or your partner. Somebody's trying to manifest this back. This is sword energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. And we got Taurus energy for the Emperor. Yeah, this is Aries. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with because I got the Emperor here and I got the Fool in Reverse. So some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. Ace of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. So yeah, somebody could have been dealing with an Aries. But I also have the Hierophant in Reverse and I have the Emperor which represents Taurus energy. So some of you could have been dealing with a Taurus. But it looks like the cycle, for some of you, the cycle's coming to an end here. Somebody's going to be uh, uh, leaving this behind. Somebody definitely had the wool pulled over their eyes. They're in denial about what's going on here. And then we have the sun card. Okay, so for those who um, are considering going back, this could work out. This could work out in your favor with the sun card here. Okay. Or perhaps once you end this, you'll have the sun card come in. Could very well be. Because I don't see going back. I don't see what, how going back would, would help you out. But that's for some of you. Not all of you. So some of you need strength. Some of you need strength to get through this. Okay, some of you are still in mourning. Here's the strength card here. This is Leo, so some of you could be dealing with the Leo. All right, and this is the Eight of Cup, the Eight of uh, Swords. Okay, that's the Aries Leo Sag. No, I'm sorry, Gemini energy. Okay, yeah, some of you are, you need your strength here. And we have the Four of Swords and the Strength card. Okay, so that's for some of you. So some of you are trying to manifest new love. Some of you are trying to uh, manifest brand new love. And some of you are trying to manifest your old partner back. And some of you are just working on money. You're not even thinking about love right now. You're just trying to get those dollars. So let's see. Let's get you a final spread here. See what we have for you. <coughs> final, uh, final words here on your love reading for the 15th through 31st. Pisces. 15th, 35th. All right, Pisces. Yeah, no new beginnings. So some of you definitely are, yeah, and the justice card in reverse again. Yeah, some of you are just definitely not interested in starting a new beginning. Justice card in reverse. Perhaps your partner is the one who decided to pick someone else. Um, looks like the Six of Wands, there's no balance here. So, yeah, there's, there's not going to be any new beginning. Somebody was left out in the cold. Okay. Um, somebody was uh, juggling, for sure. And taking their time with making a decision. As to who they wanted to be with, with the pinnacle, the uh, Knight of Pentacles here. I don't blame you. Who has time to be sitting around waiting on? Mm -mm. No, Pisces. Okay. Focus on your ones like you've been doing. Okay. Get your coins together. Do what you have to do in reference to that. You know, yeah, this was a past love. So this was someone who was a soulmate. Someone from the past. This is who this is. Um, but you definitely are looking for something new coming in. You may have something new coming in. Okay. 
So you could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn because there was heavy pentacle energy. Um, but yeah, it looks like you're going in and reflecting. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right. And you got the uh, Four of Cups. So there might have been a little bit of a boredom here in reference to the options, which maybe is why you don't want a new beginning here. Like, no, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> we did what we're going to do. We're good. You know, you have the two of wands, so you're deciding on which, you know, what you want to do. Um, you know, you're trying to get balanced like we saw in the last spread. So you're just ready to manifest positive things. And then we got somebody coming in who might want to give you a good time. So if you're not looking for anything serious, this could be, you know, something to help you take your mind off things. Uh, because we did talk about the uh, passionate new beginning coming in. All right, so this could just be some fun just what the doctor ordered if some of you are just looking for fun. Um, I'm not judging. Hey, that's up to you. Uh, but that could be coming in soon for you if that's just, if, but just keep in mind, if it's coming, it's not going to be anything serious. Okay, so if you want something serious, make sure you make it be known and that you use your judgment and your discernment in reference to how you proceed because you don't want to end up in a situation where you know you're thinking that you're going to get your ten of cups here um, but in reality you're going to be sitting here stressed out recouping with the four of swords again you don't want that again okay this is if this is you in the past so you want to be honest and let people know what it is this is the king of swords just be up front they are going to be i tell people this all the time it's really important that you're up front with people because you never know you may very well meet somebody who's on the same page as you if you just want to have a fun and hang out and one night stand, no judgment, but be honest so that the person you're dealing with knows that and they know what's going on so that there's no hurt feelings. Why would you lie to people? Like that's not going to bring you good karma. If you keep it 100, you may lose out on somebody you're attracted to, but at least you know you were 100. And at least when you get into something with somebody, you know you both are on the same page and you both want the same thing. So yeah, you're sitting here just... uh basically trying to maintain your strength and manifest uh you know some good vibes and there's nothing wrong with that at all i don't blame you for that pisces so pisces this has been your love reading from may 15th through may 31st i hope this resonated for some of you please feel free to leave the comments uh below and i will see you guys in june ta-ta